Japan Gangnam Style. Educational sector because I heard right now they are on Asu Strike. Do you think that uh, the Nigerian government is helping that a lot? Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, on that ground I have a lot of things to say. I think uh, the education um, system in Nigeria is really, really uh, problematic. I think uh, there is a kind of malaise that is going on in that uh, system. The reason being that, uh, you know, lecturers, you know, they always drive the pleasure of frustrating, trying to truncate the destiny of the young, the upcoming youths in the Federation. I think that have been causing a kind of disaster. You know, it is really, really devastating for them to expose students to that kind of, uh, you know, a situation. And I think uh, the government is not even helping matters because uh, it is the duty of the government, you know, to give, you know, to give a, a great or a very good incentive to the lecturers so that they also, they will also be motivated to give the same input to the student as well. And so for the fact that the government is not taking into account of, you know, the, the salaries of the, 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 the lecturers, they are not really helping matters. I think uh, the old uh, uh, problem there is just complete corruption. And that has really posed a lot of danger to the upcoming youths in the Federation. Yeah, and uh, so, second question I would like to ask you on uh, is the Boko Haram crisis that is going on in Nigeria. And, and I, because I believe that that, that, has one of the, that is one of the most uh, uh, important thing that uh, the Nigeria uh, government and Nigerians as entirely have to tackle on, and is is it, like the thing is causing more problem in Nigeria. And uh, I, I don't know I, what do you think about that uh, the Boko Haram crisis that is going on uh, the, for the past uh, six or four years. Um, I think uh, in respect to the the Boko Haram crisis that uh, that is currently persisting in the country. I think it is something that the the country needs to come together, and I think um, with with the, the the trend that is going on, you know, with the way the Boko Haram have been persisting, you know, it is a clear indication that it is some greedy, very crafty, very callous politicians that have been hiring these people to cause a kind of disunity, to to you know, to disrupt into the good governance of good luck, Jonathan. And I think that is very bad. And I think one of the key reasons why these people are doing this is because uh, uh, this is the first time of we, the Niger Delta people, per se, have produced a governor, I mean a president. And these people are not really happy. And so it is, uh, the Book Haram crisis is indeed a political motivated, politically calculated, uh, you know, um, menace that is going on in the country. And I believe if people can have sincerity of art to come up and say they want to bring a kind of unity into the country, definitely this crisis will not be persisting. But because some people want to use it to, to disrupt or to disorganize or to bulldoze the political scenario in the country. And that is the reason why the Boko Haram crisis has been con con uh, consistent. I think it is all about something that has to do with political undertone. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, coming, honoring my invitation in uh, Mr. Otokolo's uh, show. Uh, yeah, I just want to say a little thing now on, in uh, addition to what my colleague has said so far. This is a very grammatic man, and seriously speaking, most of the grammar that he has been speaking, I don't understand though. We got a guy they speak grammars anyhow, and I think those grammars cannot communicate with the society. Uh, thank you.